The House of Representatives on Saturday passed a more than $60 billion bill to provide military and economic aid to Ukraine. A solid majority of Republicans voted against the bill, which passed by a 311 to 112 margin. 101 Republicans voted for it, and one Republican, Rep. Dan Muser of Pennsylvania, voted, present. The Ukraine aid bill came to the floor after months of delay and despite staunch opposition from the hard right, including a threat from Rep. Marjorie Taylor Greene to call a vote to oust House Speaker Mike Johnson if he allowed such a vote. Under Johnson's unconventional plan, the Ukraine bill will be sent to the Senate as part of a package that includes aid for Israel and Taiwan and a third bill that forces a sale of TikTok and allows the United States to confiscate Russian assets. Each component received its own vote in the House on Saturday. The bill is widely expected to pass the Senate in the coming days as it generally mirrors a $95.3 billion national security bill passed by the upper chamber in February. President Joe Biden has pledged to sign it into law. Saturday's vote marked the first time the House had approved billions of dollars in Ukraine aid since December 2022, when Democrats still controlled the chamber. In the two years since Russia's invasion, Opposition to aiding Ukraine has grown from a fringe position to a majority view among House GOP lawmakers. Many argue the money should be spent domestically or that policy changes at the U.S.-Mexico border should take precedence. The new infusion of aid comes at a make-or-break moment for Ukraine, which has faced ammo shortages and insufficient air defenses. As a result of his move, Johnson could face a vote on his ouster in the coming weeks. The GOP speaker, however, has grown more willing to confront the threat from the right, and Democrats have suggested that they're willing to protect him from an ouster effort if he allowed a vote on Ukraine aid. If I operated out of fear of a motion to vacate, I would never be able to do my job, Johnson told reporters this week. History judges us for what we do. This is a critical time right now. Here are the 112 House Republicans who voted against the bill.